thing you have to be proud at this moment. Um, I surrender all. What more could you ask for your daughters to do than to surrender their lives to Christ? So at this point, you get the opportunity to speak a blessing over your child publicly, which you might not get that opportunity for a long time, maybe when they get married. <laughs> but Dad, you can get to put a ring on. You'll be the first man to put a ring on her finger and somebody that she can model after when she chooses somebody to put the next ring on her finger. But at this point, um, it's okay. Um, that's right. Um, the rings that we have this year, we ordered from a, a Christian jeweler, and each of the girls got to choose what scripture they wanted to put on their rings. And when they, when they get it, they'll be able to share it. Some of them was about Romans 8, 28. I remember uh, uh, Jeremiah 9, uh, 29, 11. And I think it was one more. So I chose some for different. Philippians 4, 13 on strength. I think they chose that one. But all the rings have a scripture on the inside. They were able to um, do a personal inscription too. But the ring is a purity ring. And this is a ring that um, they had to sign a card when we um, met um, in the sanctuary this week to prepare for this ceremony. And it says, it makes a commitment that they're going to wait. They're going to stay um, until they get married. And that's what this commitment is, this ring that they put on. Um, it's a purity ring. So it's a beautiful commitment for them to make. I said, you need to, uh, you need to make it now because when it's time to decide if you have to make it then, it's too late. So this is the time to commit yourself, to sanctify yourself for the Holy Spirit and for His use. So parents, you get the opportunity to speak your blessings at this time. And the rings are right here on the table. And you'll come up as one at a time. We'll just go down the third order. Uh, we'll start with Courtney Parker. standing here um, in just a few short months and you guys are going to be freshmen in high school. And I have to start off by saying to the group, you are an awesome group of girls and I love each and every one of you. You have opened up your homes, beach trips, outings, car rides to ball games to school, um, and shared your friendship with not only Courtney, but with James and I as well. And I pray that that friendship between the girls continues for a lifetime. Courtney, I said I wasn't going to cry, but I don't know if I'm going to make it for that one um, You are such a blessing to us. Um, from the time you were born, you had that spark that could light up the room. You have a lovely and open personality. Your quirky sense of humor is often right on time to make us laugh. We are so proud of the hard work that you do, um, both in school, sports, anything that you set out to do, you give it your all. You have given us so many wonderful memories and stories, and I will forever cherish together our special car times when you and I sleep in the car and we laugh and we cut up. Um, that is one of my favorite parts of the day. And then to see you all curl up in Daddy's arms melts my heart and it feels too. And with Ryan, you always know just when to give that special encouragement, maybe that little gentle or not so gentle nudge. Um, <laughs> Or just that smile and love. You have such a tender heart um, to both the physical and spiritual needs of others. And you've also got a servant's heart. From early in life, you've always wanted to share God's love and His Word. I can remember in kindergarten at L.C. Carr, your kindergarten teachers telling us that you would be on the playground with kids surrounding you and you would be telling them stories about Jesus. You have a desire to serve our Lord and you put actions to those words. You're also a prayer warrior. We love the light in your eyes when you come to us and tell us about the times that you've helped at the food bank, things that took place at youth camps or youth meetings, and vision projects that you've done. Philippians 2.13 says, For it is God who is working in you, enabling you both to desire and to work out 
is your purpose. And I know how important you value not only serving others, but calling out to God for his guidance in your life. We are so proud of your enthusiasm and your boldness to step out of your comfort zone and do things for the Lord. We love to see how you enjoy singing praises and how you want to develop your skills to add to the worship experiences. We can't wait to see what God has in store for you. And whatever you choose in life, make sure that you let God lead your path. The day we brought you home, it snowed. And you became our snow baby. And I think every Christmas or birthday since then, you've received some type of snow figurine or something related to snow. I was looking around the other day and I found this quote and I thought it was very fitting and I wanted to share it with you today because I, I really thought that it fit well to, to tonight. It says, the future lies before you like a field of fallen snow. Be careful how you tread it for every step will show. Keep this in mind as you go through life because others will be looking at you to set an example and remember the lessons that you've learned in this promise study and apply them to the rest of your life. Continue to grow in your relationship with God and study His Word. Whatever path you take in life, your dad and I will always be here for you, cheering you on, supporting you, picking you up, and loving you all the way. We are so proud and we are, there's no words to say how much more we have for you. spokesperson tonight for our family. Caroline didn't want her daddy to speak because he's a jokester and she was afraid that he would embarrass her. <laughs> so I got to speak to, uh, tonight, but that's a hard act to follow. You did a great job. And this is a great group of girls and I know Caroline loves every one of you very dearly. Um, I know tonight we're supposed to be speaking a blessing for Caroline, but first of all, I want to just say that Caroline has been one of the biggest blessings that the Lord has ever given us, has ever given our family. And I am a crybaby, so if I start crying, if I start crying you'll just have to excuse me. Um, Caroline has been one of the most important things in our lives. She has truly been a gift from God. In Jeremiah 29, 11, God says, For I know the plans I have for you. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. We know that God has very special plans for Caroline. Plans to make a difference in the world and to help others. We are very proud of you. You have really turned into a beautiful young lady. We would also like to thank Mids Christian Academy and the staff for everything that they've done to help mold Caroline into the young lady that she is today. You have played a very important role in helping her to grow up. There's a lot of things about Caroline you guys might not know. Um, she loves graphic design, she loves video games, and she loves her dogs and her cats. Um, but one thing you might not know, she's a great chef. She loves to cook, but she does not clean up. <laughs> <laughs> but we are, we are committed, Caroline, to whatever you want in life. We're there for you to help you to pursue your dreams. To, to, to reach those goals that you have. Um, God, God can use any talent to glorify his name, and we are confident that God will use Caroline's talents as well. We love you, Caroline, and we are very proud of the wonderful young lady that you have become. And may you always put the, word, the Lord first, and all the rest will fall in place.
Well, when I was looking around for something to say today, I was thinking about uh, Elizabeth's place in our family. Uh, she came along a little bit later in our lives, after a number of other children were already here and grown. So she was uh, a, kind of a surprise, but also a blessing. Um, I was uh, reading through the Bible for some things to uh, think about, and I realized that there are uh, many examples in the Bible of children born to older women. Not quite as old as Sarah, but um, <laughs> there are several examples, and all of these children born to later in life had a special calling on their life. They, um, they, the Lord had uh, commissioned them to be great and to do great things. <laughs> greatest things about Elizabeth is, and it, it's a verse out of Proverbs as well, 15, 15, that he who has a merry heart has a continued feast. Elizabeth has a merry heart. She loves to laugh. And uh, she came along at a time, a little bit after she was born, we needed to laugh. And she gave that to us. And I, my prayer for her is that all of her life she will draw from that her heart. And that she will continue to be a blessing to other people when they use it. Take her father with the place of the We were in church one Sunday morning and the boy got out of Rosemary and said, We're going to have a baby. <laughs> she said, I petitioned the Lord. Let me realize that this morning during church. We hadn't been to the doctor. <laughs> so uh, that verse from Samuel always stands out in my mind when I think about Lizzie. I petitioned the Lord and he heard my plea. Amen. What I'd like to do in addition to, to um, giving a blessing to Lizzie is one to all the girls. And, I'm going to paraphrase a little bit out of um, Psalms. It's kind of a blessing to all of you. Uh, bear with me. Older men need glasses. <laughs> My heart is overflowing with a beautiful thought. You are fairest of all. Your words are filled with grace. God himself is blessing you forever. You love what is good, and you hate what is wrong. Therefore, God, your God, has given you more gladness than anyone else. And I continue to give you that blessing and that gladness. Every morning when Lizzie gets out of the car, I make her lean over, and I kiss her on top of the head. That's my blessing for her every day. 